What's going on, y'all? What's going on? We're back at it again. Another hot review. Drams on deck. And as you can see, as you can see, my fellow Dram Simples, you see what time it is. The Willett Family Reserve. What time is it right here? 54% family estate, small batch. This bottle at 108 proof, 54%. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We I had this for a little while. We're going to dive all into this one right here, and we're going to get down to what it is. This is probably one of my favorite uh, rides out of the market, one of my favorite. But, you know, I had this for a while, and I came into what you may call luck or maybe it just by chance. But not only do we have this four-year today, but we got something else that we're going to do with it that is kind of very rare. It's kind of hard to get. And by that, this is what I mean right here. I got that big brother, a Willet Rye. Look at that. Ten year. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but ten years on deck. Yes, sir. 110 proof, 55%. This one right here is, is not, that what you see is not a purple top. It's a green top. But just FYI, all 10 years and 8 years are not all purple. I wish it was a purple top, but nevertheless, it's 10 years. They have a white top, with a purple top, green top, black tops. But anyway, so I got the 10 year on deck. And if you don't know, this is almost a unicorn bottle. It's hard to find. They got, you know, a small batch of this, different variations of it. But nevertheless, this 10 year, I mean, this one right here, it is very, very hard to get. And if you do see it with a 10 year on the shelf, you best believe it's going to have a comma in the price. I mean, it's going to be over a stack. But anyway, we're going to dive all into it. We got a nice one. Hot hitters today. Look at that right there. Will it? We got the four year and the 10 year side by side on deck for review. Let's go on deck. <sighs> today, as promised, we got a hitter in the building. Today, we got the will it. Today, we got the 10 year and the four year. Both of them in the building on deck for review. And, you know, some of y'all be wondering, I haven't posted a lot a little bit lately only because I've been kind of under the weather. My palate been off. It almost seems almost like, you know, if you ever had COVID, how your taste and smell is off. I didn't have COVID, but it just seemed like I maybe had some side effects or something of it. But anyway, um, doesn't wasn't quite myself. But nevertheless, in the meantime, I've been collecting and adding to the collection. And, yo, I got these two with us on deck for review. And man, this 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 journey I've been going on for a while because I would say about three years ago I didn't really care about maybe about three, four years ago, I didn't really care for rye whiskeys. I was mostly into you know the corn, malted and weeded ones. The rye at that time it tastes kind of medicinal to me and just kind of very dry and just I just maybe the few the first couple of rides just wasn't quite to my liking. And so it took me a little while to warm up back up to the idea. Once I started getting some rides that have the rye spice with the sweetness and it's smooth. That's when I slowly started to get into it. So now, fast forward four years or so later, I probably prefer rice more than I do even uh, weeded whiskeys, to be honest with you. It's part of my evolution, man. Like I said, once upon a time, I didn't like peated whiskeys, and now I'm a peat head. Nevertheless, I will say that um, if you ever had the Willet Four Year, um, I think if you enjoy this, I think you are you would be very, very licking your chops and very interested to know what an eight or a ten year would taste like. I got lucky enough to win this 10-year. This one right here is an Ohio exclusive. I got this actually in the in Ohio State Lottery. Where I'm actually from Ohio, born and raised, Cleveland to be exact, though I don't no longer live there, but full-time at least. But um, So how I got this, acquired this bottle is my uncle uh, entered his name into the uh, the raffle. So in Ohio, you enter your name, your information. They have a whole list of bottles that you can win, and... He, he got lucky and his, and his name got called for this particular bottle. He called, let me know. It's like, yo, I, I got a notification. I won the Will It 10 year. They had, they had in, in their draft, well, they had a eight year, a six year, and this 10 year. So the 10 year obviously being the most expensive. Um, this one right here, believe it or not, is $360, which is what it cost me for the Ohio lottery. So that's what I paid for, $360. Um, if you get a Will It 10 year, on the second market, we talking about well over a thousand dollars. So these are unicorns, hard to find. You don't see ten years very, very so often. I mean, you don't really see them all that often. And as I said earlier, they, this is the dark green top, but they call most of you know a lot of the upper uh, age one, well, upper age. We're really don't talk about six to eight or even ten years. So those usually it's not all, but they sometimes they come in purple tops. Sometimes I've seen some white tops, black tops, and this is a, this is the actual dark green top. Um, like I said, this is the Ohio exclusive small batch. No, as I was single, this is a single barrel. So this is a small batch. The four years of small batch, the 10 year that I wanted in the lottery is a single barrel. Um, 
this one right here, uh, like I said, man, it's you don't see too many 10 years. So, you know, I seen some 10 years just online. And like I said, those was like over a thousand dollars. So um, I think those on the second market, those are ridiculous. That's not worth it. In my opinion, I don't think any of them are. Um, but this, this one, like I said, I, I said, you know what, if I can get a, you know, 10 year for under, th you know, four or 500 dollars, I think I'd take a chance on it. So I actually almost didn't buy this, but I almost told my, uh, my uh, uncle rather like, Hey man, don't, don't worry about it. Cause there was some other stuff I wanted to get in the lottery. I was like, okay, this costs 360, but I also had my name in there for the, uh, birthday bourbon, the King Kentucky, the, uh, weather foolproof. Um, so there was a couple other bottles I was looking to get, um, E.H. Taylor's, you know, so I was like, you know what, I, I was like, you know what, this is the 360, I said, if I went in the lottery and get some other stuff, I'd probably rather, rather have two bottles of rare, hard to get stuff than just one, so, but anyway, we, we only thing we got, uh, all the stuff that I just mentioned was this, so anyway, here we are, so if you want to know how much the four-year cost me, it only cost me $50, so the four-year is awesome. Um, and I, we'll get to that in just a second, but this one is, uh, four years is $50. This 10 year is $360. So we talk about a $300 difference, you know, over a $300 difference between the two. So I, we're going to compare and try to see which one is better and just go from there, man. Um, as always, we going to nose it. We going to, uh, taste it. We going to score it. And like I said, man, I'm looking forward to trying this. So I'm going to start, believe it or not, uh, we'll start with the four year. Even though I'm left-handed, I'm going to start right-handed. So I'm going to start with the four-year. So let's see what this nose has to offer. <sighs> All right, now. Right off the top, you get a nice smell of spice, bacon spice, <sighs> nutmeg, some dried cinnamon. Then you get, like, some oak on here, some oak tannins, wood. Oak and spices, mainly what I pick up on the nose. I don't pick up much sweetness on here. I'm not picking up no, no vanilla or honey notes. Just mostly spice and wood is mostly what I'm picking up. <sighs> just a small hint of, of molasses, I would say. But nothing, um, nothing that, you know, is very pronounced. You know, just like I said, spice, wood is mostly what I'm picking up. And the color on here from side by side, I don't know if the camera's picking up. Side by side, they're pretty close. I would say the 10 year is very, I mean, just a very, very slightly darker, very slightly. We're talking like maybe 15% darker than, than the four year. So, you know, on naked eye, it's, you know, you would, you know, you would think maybe 10 year may be slightly darker, aged longer in the wood, but it's really not. It's almost the same uh, color. But anyway, without further ado, let's take this first sip of the four year. Let's see what we got. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right now. Mm. First sip of the day. It's barrel proof. Got the chest warm. Palate tingling. Right now. It's a little warm going down. Nice little warmness. I always like to take a couple sips. First sip gets my palate uh, sensitized. The second sip kind of goes down easier and I can kind of Get into those nuances a little bit better. So, without further ado, let's take one more quick sip. I'm gonna give you what you want. Mm. Okay. So this one, mm, you get a nice aroma of. That, that rice spice and you get the sweetness. So this one, oak, cinnamon, nutmeg. Then you get a nice, nice little, little hint of uh, vanilla that kind of rolls in on the mid palate. And as it goes down, you get just a dab of chocolate, just a dab of chocolate on there. And you get mint as well. So you get mint, the art, you know, like a nutmeg, little cinnamon spice, oak, vanilla, and just a little bit of hint of that mint and chocolate. Oh no, it's pretty nice, man. Like I said, barrel proof. This one is 54% uh, alcohol. This one is 55. So they're pretty much dead on. I mean, they're pretty much, you know, 54, 55%. So um, 
a nice, nice little, it's a nice dram. And it's only $50. So you, for $50, you can't, you know, you really can't go wrong with that. I think, I mean, to me, I think it's very good price. I mean, hell, if it was $10, $15 more, if it was like, like I said, I paid $50, but if it was $65, maybe $70, I would still pay for it. In my opinion, because other other drams that's cost around that, in my opinion, that isn't quite as good. So, in my opinion, it is very accurately priced. This one, we'll get to this one in just a second. But this one right here, four year, fifty dollars, cat uh, cash strength, very smooth. If you a fan of good rye with a little bit of sweetness, and uh, like like I said, and the thing about this, is it has a nice balance of the rye spice and sweetness. I don't like it when when I try a rye that's very very medicinal, harsh, no sweetness, not balanced. And this does, it, you know, there's none of that going on in here. Like I said, you get a nice, like I said, you get the spices in the forefront, but you do get a nice nice medium balance of the, with the sweetness of it. Like I said, a nice a dose of vanilla. You, like I said, you get a little bit of mint in there. This is a dab, very small dab of chocolate with those nice little um, spices going on with the oak as well. Not bad at all. Not bad. So I'm going to take one more quick sip. I'm going to score this for you. You notice I didn't even put water in there. It's drinking pretty easy for me after that first sip. But um, just for serving, I'll probably take a little small dab. But I honestly, though, when I drink my Willis, man, I don't really feel the need to put water in it because they, they, they I don't know, they seem, they, they sip kind of easy for me. There's there's certain ones that sip heavy and there's certain that sip, that sip you know, uh, kind of light. This, this, I mean, after that first sip, it's sip pretty light for me, man. It's not harsh. It's not like very hot on my tongue. But keep in mind, I am an experienced drinker, so... Maybe because I'm used to drinking high proofs nowadays, but I will say there are some proofs. Like, have you ever had a, a Elijah Craig barrel proof? Though some of the last one I had, I haven't had one in a little bit of a while now. But the last barrel proof Elijah Craig I had was like 68. percent Every time I hit, even on my second, third sips, you can feel some heat on that. Like that, that's one of the ones that you know you get a Stag Junior, you get a um, that um, uh, as I said earlier, that um, I'm losing my, my train of thought. That uh, the um, well, before mentioned uh, spirit, it, it, like the Elijah Craig, it, it hits you right in your in your mm, right, right, stuff. But luckily, I like the hit, but it still takes me a little bit longer to get adapt to it. But it's it's good, nevertheless. This I'm gonna take one more quick sip. This was with water to see if anything changes. Mm, medium, medium oil it is to it. Medium light viscosity. It was more of the same with the water. I think the thing, if anything, a little bit more of the rice spice lingers in the mid palate. As right now, I still feel that that the rice spice dancing on my tongue. The mint and the rice spice seem to take a, for, a step forward, but everything else is kind of there though. So not much difference. All in all, great dram, great price. Some place you can get this light candy. It's all day long. I wasn't. I got this in. I want to say Louisville, Kentucky, early this year. They had they had it all over. It was at Liquor Barn, so with Liquor Barn like a very common store and um, that you will find in uh, um, in uh, Louisville. Nevertheless, great price, small batch on deck, and these and just so you know, these proofs is going to vary. So if you go in your store, you may see a small uh, small batch. Well, and yours may be fifty seven or fifty one. So the batches are are, are going to be different. The, the ABVs, all in all, and like I said. Good dram. Uh, if I had to rate this one out of a 10, 10 being the best. Um, and keep in mind, I'm only rating this against <clears throat> just contemporary bourbons. That, that's it. I'm not rating against a scotch or tequila or cognac, just against, uh, you know, other bourbons. So for me, 1 to 10, 10 being the very best for me, drams on deck, I would give this Willet four year. Um, for me, I would give this a solid, a solid eight and a half out of a 10. Eight and a half out of a 10 all day long, you know. Solid, easy pickup, easy, easy pickup. I mean, you know, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this one, man. This this is a solid dram all day. Eight, a solid 8.5 out of a 10 for me. Drams all day. That being said, I'm going to slide over this 10-year. This, uh, Take one quick sip of water, my beanie's cup. Anyway, over here, like I said, I said earlier, I bought this in a raffle, 360. I got this with not even a month ago. Here we are in December 2022. Um, like I said, I never thought I would have the opportunity to get this at retail. 
Uh, it's just so much. I, I it's so much hype about the purple top, even though it's still on the same level. It's just, I just wish it was purple, but that's just a, you know, just a preference. But getting back to here, let's see what this nose has to offer. <sighs> just so you know, I, I pour these about at least 20, 30 minutes before I started talking. So it's been airing out for a while. So as I'm getting to it, I don't really pick up much note, maybe because it's been airing out for a while. But I do pick up this little bit of rice spice and wood. But nothing spectacular, nothing to hold your time to, to describe it back and forth. There's nothing special on the, it's similar to this. Probably just a little less, little less strong. But like I said, it's been airing out for quite a while now. So, but uh, primarily when you're getting the spice, spice and a little bit of oak. Without further ado, let's take this tin down. One more quick sip of water. Let's take this tin down and see what we got. Let's see what three hundred sixty dollars tastes like. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Just getting warm. All right now. All right now. Getting warm again. After you cleanse the palate with the water, come right back with that barrel proof. Oh yeah, you, you can feel the heat a little bit. But nevertheless, I could definitely, I'm gonna take one more quick sip as always, but I can tell you right at the top, you definitely pick up more oak on the 10 year than the four year. I think that's a no brainer. Obviously it's, it's a six years older than that. So the more time it spends in the, in the oak and the wood and the cast and the barrel, it's gonna impart more flavors of the oak. Some, some spirits more than others, but Definitely get more oak. But anyway, let me take another quick sip and I'm going to dive deeper in these notes for you. Mm -hmm. So, in this one, you get more, definitely more oak. Oak is there, but to me, it's interesting. Like, I love oak. Um, most of the time, I don't care for it to be my pre predominant flavor. And this, is, the oak is pretty almost predominant on this one. But you still get a nice amount of spice, too. So you get the rice spice, the oak. This one has a medium sweetness, well, medium light sweetness to it. You do get a little bit of vanilla. I think you get more on the four-year than you do on this one. But I, for some reason, I like the, the play between the oak and the spice on this one. Um, this is very good, very good. Um, but as always, and I'm, as you see, I am took a couple of drops of water as I took my second sip, but I'm gonna be honest with you. There's There are some similarities between these two, but the major difference is you're gonna pick up more oak on this one. This one has, this one has less oak, more vanilla. This one has um, uh, less oak, more oak. And then, um, this one right here, you get, I pick up just lightly, a little bit more uh, rice spice on this one. Uh, they're both good, though. Um, I like them both, but let me try this one with water, and I'm going to give you my final thought on, bo on both of these in just a second. Last one. More the same. Not much different with the water. I, I had about five drops of water. It's not really any different. The oak spices are two main ingredients in here. I don't I don't pick up as much I don't pick up any chocolate on here. Mint is, is very light on this one. I like them both. Final thought, the 10 year is good. However, it's worth $360. Hell to the no. Hell no, it ain't worth $360. I enjoy it. But like I said, it's very close with the four year. Like I said, it's, it has more spice, more oak. It's a matter of preference. But I paid 50 for this. This is 360. So my my appreciation as far as taste profile is very similar. I could almost make a case I like the four year more than I do the ten year. I didn't score it yet. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But if, if if they're both in the same ballpark, there's no way I caught a good deal paying three sixty for this. I know it's rare, hard to get. Will a ten year? Ooh, I get that, but nah, this ain't it right here. As far as the price, so let me, let me just be very upfront. I like the dram. There's nothing at all wrong, you know, that I'm I'm really harping much about the dram. It's the price point that I'm harping about. The price point ain't it. The dram is cool. 
but not for no 360. For 360, I mean, I need to, I need to almost have some orgasmic kind of pleasures coming from, from the, from the drams. I need to feel something good. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I can do with 360 that I can be very happy with. And then though I enjoy this, it ain't worth no 360. Okay. And if this was a 10 year on the second market, we talking about over a thousand dollars. So trust, unless you are an avid collector, there's some people who just like to collect hard to find unicorn bottles like this, pappies, you know, uh, Parker's Heritage, because we're talking about bourbon. You know, there's, there's a ton, there's a handful of so, like I said, I said, I mentioned it earlier, uh, uh, King Kentucky, OFC, all these, you know, hard to find unicorn bottles. A lot of times people collect them just because they like having it in their collection. It's something to talk about. And if they, some people invest in their bottles. They keep it for a long time, rare bottles, and they can go sell it on an auction or whatever, or even trade it. So if you're someone, you're an avid collector, you're not looking to actually drink it. You're looking to sell it or, you know, or, whatever you want to do with it, then okay, if that's what you want to do. But if you actually buying your bottles to drink, so drinking purposes, I would not, just FYI, I would not drop, you know, this suppose this is a um, second market price. I used to live in California. California, you can find damn near anything. So I'm sure there's going to be some stores you can find within 10 years. It's probably going to run you well over $1,000. So if you can do, if you if you got the money for that, unless you're an avid collector and you're looking to flip it years down the line, I would not, if you're buying a drink, I wouldn't waste my money. So some people got it like that. You know, $1,000 might there be nothing to them. Do what you want to do. It's your money. But my opinion, it ain't worth it. This, to me, is just as good, if not better. And it's $300 cheaper. And it's easier to find. It's not worth it. I like it. The 10 years cool. I like you, but you ain't all that. Okay. So as far as the price point, anyway, bottom line, we get to the, to the scoring. One of a 10 team made the best of me drams on deck. I gave this an eight, two, five. I gave this an eight and a half. This is 8.5. I gave this an eight, two, five. I like it almost just the same. Um, the reason why I gave this the nod is because I get more, a little bit more, in my opinion, I, I get a little bit more sweetness, which I do like. And I also get a little bit more chocolate on this one. You get a strong oak flavor, which is good. But, you know, like I said, it's not my favorite per se flavor profile. But then you figure the rice spice is a little bit heavier on this. So if you like real heavy rice spice, I'm not saying this is the heaviest rye I've ever had. But I mean, but just between the two, this one to me has a heavier rice spice and it has more oak. Um, I, I like the younger one because it had, like I said, it had the mint, the chocolate, a little bit more vanilla. Um, I think it had a little bit more going on. This was a little bit heavier, but this one to me had a little bit more nuances I could pick out. Uh, the balance is good on both. It's just a matter of preference. Um, to me, 8.25, 8.5, um, I like it, it's cool, but it ain't worth the price point. So, hey, I can say, hey, I had a 10-year, I won a lottery, check, check, but um, yeah, yeah, I would not be purchasing another with it. Um, this way, if I could find an 8-year purple top for maybe 200, I, I, I would probably do that. Because like I said, a small batch is going to depend from, one, from variation to variation. Like I said, this is Ohio exclusive. So this is going to be different from, unless you know Ohio, you're never even going to try this. You, this I'm talking about, now keep in mind, all single barrel Willis don't taste the same. So let me specify, I'm only talking about this one. There are some purple top ones that going to have a different batch, a different barrel, and it may taste, to, it's probably going to taste different from what I have. So this, if you, you, don't, you probably can't see it, but it says Ohio exclusive on the back. So keep in mind, I'm only mostly going off of this. But I'm just simply saying it's going to be very hard for you to find a purple top at retail. There, I mean, you, you might get lucky like I got lucky and get it at a, at a lottery. And they had an eight-year purple top in the same Ohio lottery. That one was two fifty, I want to say, yeah, around two forty, two fifty for the purple eight-year. I, I to, to be honest, I wish I would have won the purple eight-year versus the ten-year. That's just my opinion. I don't, I didn't have that one either. That's an Ohio exclusive as well. But nevertheless, I'm just saying. I'm going to speak about the Ohio exclusive 10 year. If you see a purple top 10 year, it may be very different from what I'm tasting. So unless you can get it at retail like I did, don't waste your money. Don't waste. I wouldn't do it. Oh, no, man. Hope you got some much review. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, please always hit me in the comment description. I enjoy interacting with you all. That's how I get to interact and see if I'm hitting the mark, if y'all connecting. If you have any questions, I just really like it when y'all interact with me. So please hit me up in the comments uh, box. Also, I also have a Instagram page. I have a lot of bottles that I have get reviewed and a couple small hidden reviews in there as well. So if you check out my, if you check out my YouTube channel, please check out my Instagram page and vice versa. Um, like I said, I hope you got something out of this. If you if you never had a will in any year, hopefully you got something out of it. If, you, if, you, if you're a fan of bourbon, if you see the four year, if, if the price point, get it all day. Ten year, only at retail. Hope you got something out of it, man. I, I enjoy y'all. And if you if you like anything out of this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. They don't cost you one penny. I greatly appreciate y'all's support, man. We're back at it again. Another hot reviews for y'all. Enjoy your hot season. People be safe out there. Have a great time, man. Trams on deck. Yes, sir.